how to use type tools in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Hi there, we are going to learn in this tutorial the use of type tools of Adobe Photoshop CS6. So we have the Adobe application open here. Let's create a new document. Now here are the type tools. As you can see there are four types of type tools here. They are horizontal type tool, vertical type tool, horizontal type mask tool and vertical type mask tool. Now I'm going to start with the horizontal type tool. Let's select the tool. Now let's type anything you like here. Let's type graphic design and multimedia. Now you see while typing here with this tool it does not automatically break the line or go to next line. In that case you have to press enter from your keyboard to go to the next line. Now you can move this text by selecting the move tool and place it wherever you like. Now I want to change the color of the text. Let's select the text and choose the color from here. To change the font style, let's select the text and you go here and select your favorite font style. Now also you can change the font size from here by selecting the text and choose the font size. You can choose the type of alignment you would prefer from here. You can do all of these also from here. Select typography. You'll have all those options with some other here. Now to get rid of this menu here and go back to previous state, click essential from here. So that was all about the horizontal type tool. Now let's delete the layer we have used. Now let's work with the vertical type tool. Let's select the vertical type tool. Let's type a text. Graphic design. The only difference here is the text comes vertical here. Now similarly as we have seen in the use of horizontal tool, you can do all those things such as change font size, font style, color and so on. You could also bold italic or bold italic your text here.
you can change the sharpness of the text also so let's find out the use of horizontal mask type tool now I want to open an image Let's select the tool and type on the image here. Now you see that the outer line of the text is blinking as it has selected that area of the image. Now with the move tool, if you move the text, you see that part of the image has come off the original image and the background remains white as white selected here. Now let's take this text to our new document file by dragging it to there. Now if you transform the text and enlarge it, you see that the body of the text has taken the style of the image where we type the text. Now with the vertical mask type tool is same as the horizontal mask type tool but the text comes in vertical axis. I think that was all about the use of all the type tools. Thank you.